Our electric scooter's really safe. Nothing's really safe if you don't give it the respect that it deserves. At the end of the day, if it has wheels, there is always going to be the risk of injury. It doesn't matter if it's a skateboard, scooter, BMX bike, roller skates, anything. I mean, it, it doesn't even have to be anything to do with wheeled sports or activities. Did you know that one in 15,000 people will die each and every year from overexertion due to exercise? That's matter. Mathematically speaking, that's 20,000 people per year in the United States alone where people will die or be seriously injured from exercise. And in the same breath, we're all gonna talk about how good exercise is for you. So what I'm trying to say is, no matter what it is, depending on your agenda, it's either gonna be really good for you or really harmful for you. So let's ask the question at the start of the video again, one more time. Are electric scooters really safe? Absolutely, of course they are, as long as you take the necessary precautions while riding one. So the first thing you should be thinking about when purchasing an electric scooter is not exactly just the scooter you want to get, but also do you currently have all the personal protective equipment you need to be riding this scooter safely? So the number one piece of protective equipment you should always be wearing while riding an electric scooter is of course a certified helmet. Now certification is very important in this instance because not every single helmet out there is going to be up to Australian certification standards. So you can go out, buy a cheap helmet, but if it's not certified, it's not going to be 100% protective against yourself and an unfortunate spill. And even then, helmets are just there to help you avoid serious injury if something does unfortunately go south. They are not, however, a preventative measure. First thing you're going to want to do is learn the basics and get comfortable with riding your scooter. Some electric scooters on the market will come with multiple different speed modes. So the safest thing to do is not jump into the third or fourth speed mode straight off the bat if this is your first time riding a scooter or even if you're just not that experienced. Start off at the lower speed modes and work your way up once you feel comfortable to do so. I mean, put it this way, would you ever pick up a motorbike for the first time or as a novice and go full throttle down the sidewalk? No, you wouldn't. And that's because you're gonna be a danger to not only yourself, but also the general public around you. So we need to make sure that we give electric scooters the same type of respect as we do other forms of wheeled transportation. So what I'm trying to say is it doesn't matter what wheeled device you're on. It can be an electric scooter. It can be a motorbike. It doesn't matter if you're going five kilometers an hour or you're going 25 kilometers an hour. You always need to take the necessary precautions while riding. At the start of the video, I showed you a bunch of people unfortunately coming off some electric scooters. None of them were seriously injured. However, were they taking the necessary precautions like we've spoken about so far throughout this video? Not really, no. So what I'm gonna do now is show you a bunch of clips of people riding these scooters safely. So let's ask the question one last time. Are electric scooters safe? Absolutely. Real question is, is exercising safe? Apparently not. 20,000 people a year. Last time I go run.